Good morning, Sam the Oil Man here, and today we're going to do some secret Fight Club Arena battles. But first, my research is done, even though it doesn't say it. It is. It's a little bit of a bug there. Uh, yes, Fry in Robot Disguise. That's a nice combo. So we've got two combo slots. One side I'm combo uh, researching Louise, and the other side. I am researching Fry. Fry is the last character card I received. And uh, basically until uh, a couple days ago, hadn't done any research with Fry. So he didn't have any combos. But that'll change soon. Another six hours and I can do another Louise. The, my most recent mythic card. Uh, so what are we going to do? We're going to do the challenges first because I don't want to forget them and then we'll go Secret Fight Club. And while I do that, uh, we had some fantastic new members join uh, our guild uh, yesterday. It was great. Now, over half of our guild scored 10,000 points uh, individually on the Rumble. Uh, so this next rumble we should place pretty well. It's just a matter of if we can get 40 people active. Which with these new additions we have a very good shot of doing. Uh, so there's still some spots left potentially if you wanted to join uh, the guild. And in the coming weeks if anyone goes inactive for more than a day or so. Uh, that will generate uh, a place. Uh, so if you want to join though, because we have so many very high level or very high scoring guild members, uh, you need to tell us what level you are and what you scored, what your total points scored in the guild were. Uh, if, if you're considering jumping ship, I definitely recommend uh, going and taking a snapshot for, as proof of what your rumble score was. Because, not, not for us, but if you're going to join another guild, I'm sure they're going to want to know that as well. It's certainly going to help in your movements. And in relation to that, uh, we had some people join uh, our guild, um, saying that they wanted to join and then they would be super active. Uh, but in the last rumble... They scored very, very poorly. And, you know, they said, well, the rumble was dead, so they didn't play. But my recommendation to you, if you're in uh, not the best rumble, um, what am I talking about? Not the best guild for the rumble, rather than give up, dominate, be the number one player in the guild, uh, score as many points as you can and then at the end of that take some screen screen snapshots and um, go and post that on on the animation throwdown forms and go I'm looking for a new guild here's here's how I performed in the last rumble most of the guild points in the rumble were mine and you'll be snapped up um, we're, we're not or we haven't been as picky uh, over at Winglish. But, you know, with the, the um, members who just recently joined us, uh, we might need to be soon. Which is uh, very exciting. I'd say we've, we've if we're going to get back up into the top 50, uh, we're now in a position to do that with, with the people that have just joined us. So thank you very much to the new members of Wanglish. Um, we'll probably uh, highlight your performance and uh, give you some praise as the uh, next rumble progresses. Oh, this is a tough one. Um... I think I'll put down, oh, because I want to get, I don't want to lose health, so 
maybe I should put down the anarchist, but I just don't have anything to combo with. Or if I put down, uh, but then he'll beat me. I think I'll put down the anarchist. That should help. Oh. I've got to keep going. I'll put down, um, I'll put down Bender. Oh, but then Bender can combo with the anarchist. So I'll put down Tina. Oh, he keeps going. All right, then. Um, I'll put down... Be uh, I have no choice but to put down Bender, but that should be okay. There we go. I killed one of his cards. Oh, so disappointing now that I can't combo with the Anarchist. But what I will do, because the Anarchist is possibly in trouble now is I will make Football Stewie, which will help give Football Stewie some health protection and also give the Anarchist some protection against Bobby. Is that the right move? Or do should I do Mustache, Honey Mustache Stewie? Maybe I should do that. Maybe that's a better move. Hmm. Oh, although I lose a bit of health if I do that. Actually, I lose a bit of health regardless of what I combo with Stewie. Oh, this is a tough call. Or do I go Sandwich Stewie? Or just not Sandwich Stewie. Sandwich against Stewie. And that 12 um, bomb plus... I think I do that. That's, that's a better move for me. I lose my ability to heal the Sandwich. But everything else has, has a leech. Um, and that is going to help. And then hopefully this time I can combo with the Anarchist. Yes! Oh, with Pimple Chris, and this game is mine. And I'm going to finish with 100 health. Yes! Oh, that was a tough one. But pulled it out. The perfect score and plus three. Oh, proud of myself on that one. Sometimes they're tough. But when you pull out that plus three win, every point counts towards uh, towards the end of this. Um, especially when you're not using gems to recharge and play more battles. Um, okay, we'll start off with Hatchet Boom Power. Because, you know, laser. Um, now this is tough. I'm thinking which costume. Good, he can't quite kill Hatchet Boomhauer with the punch, and also I'll put down which costume because which costume can combo with Hank to make Devil Hank, and hopefully the punch goes on to Greasy. Yes, excellent. I didn't need the punch to go there. Hatchet Boomhauer took care of it, and then we'll both repair their health and. Perfect. Throw down Tina with some leech just in case. Hopefully they get enough health repair. Put down Bender who can block that punch and oh the Hank, Devil Hank didn't quite get to leech full health. Ah so close. Oh well. Next in the Peter Asmund challenge. All right, as I said, I'm, when I play this game, I'm going to play these battles anyway, and my uh, arena recharge is uh, nearly full, so I'm going to play that anyway. Oh, I can't quite take out uh, 20, no, I can't quite take out one-eyed bean machine. That's a pretty good deck combo with with um just epics and not legendaries although it won't be a match i'll still kill it but it will do some decent damage to me i'm taking damage this turn i think this might be the end of the um what do you call them Th plus three perfect matches i'm definitely taking some health on oh no Tin tina healed me nice Oh, that came out. I didn't realize that. Very nice. 
Well, I finished perfect anyway. <laughs> thank you, Tina. And thank you to the, whoever it was uh, on YouTube who gave me the recommendation to switch to Tina because of her healing ability. That certainly helps. That was great. All right. Which now? I think I go with Ginger... Oh, tough call because I can't take damage, which means I can't do a combo because he's going to throw down something else. So we'll do Hatchet Boom Power. And then we'll do... Bender will take care of Amy. So now we'll do Gingerbread Guns. And now we'll do Chris Pimple. And... He's doing some decent damage on me. And, oh, excellent. We can combo with Bender so they can um, do the self-heal from the um, armed ability. The 20 heals 20% 20 of the base health every turn. And this should be another perfect uh, score. Oh, no, something didn't heal all the way. Or took damage or something. All right, next fight. Who am I going to be fighting? Tina. What are we going to do? Not the best tech, but throw down the armed card just because it can heal. And now we'll throw down Hank to hopefully combo with, yep, we can combo that with Devil Hank, and the Anarchist is so close to, uh, Rapture Stan is so close to being able to take out the Anarchist. Hopefully, we can, yep, that should definitely help a lot. The question is, who will get taken out first? Rapture Stan or Slay Tonight? Slay Tonight has decent health protection. I think we can take Rapture Stan. That's my guesstimate. Can we do it? Yes, we took it. Now the question is, can they heal enough before uh, I win? And it's going to be close, but probably not, actually. Probably not. Nope. So close, though. So close. So, so very close. Slight tonight healed, but Devil Hank just didn't get back to full health. I should definitely finish this in the um, with a score of over 100. Um, the Peter assessment. And what are we going to open with? We're going to open with Tina because of the leech. Followed by Bender because of the leech. And now we can combo. What do we want to combo? All right, so he's going to take out... Um, my Tina, unless I do a combo there. So I can either make Mommy Mummy, which I don't think is going to help me much. So I guess I make Bad Tina and hope that my character Tina can heal Tina up. I'm not sure what will happen here. Oh, so close to dead. <coughs> oh. I will make Muggo Bender with that leech. And took them out. The question now is, um, can Bad Tina be healed? And what should I play? I think I will play Bookus or I'll play Equestronaut costume because I don't want to win for as long as I can to have the m maximum chance of Bad Tina being healed. Oh, burger and fries plus 13 health for bad Tina. No, I'm not getting another round. That was wishful thinking when, when her health was that low. Very wishful thinking. All right. Next we fight. And that energy is done. So 80 points with... One day and 18 hours left, so I should get three more fights out of that, I think. One more tonight. Uh, two more two more fights. 
2 or 3 a.m. My brain math isn't working. Because we just did one, so I'll get another one tonight, which is in 12 hours. No, it is three. I think I should get three more fights out of it. <clears throat> no, it's two. <laughs> Hatchet boom power. Always a good start with the armed card. And then we'll throw down Stewie. And uh, this challenge is just started. I'm just at the start. Uh, so these matches should be won pretty quickly and I don't need perfect health for these matches so I can just win these really quickly and then we'll go to the secret fight club there's been a lot of uh, demand for the secret fight club fights to blow the secret right off of the fight club <laughs> normally I do these um, challenge fights in the night just after they come out but last night I was so busy making my uh, Pokemon video my fire and ice Pokemon video or I should say the thumbnail I spent a lot of time making the thumbnail I'm really proud of it it's one of the best thumbnails that I've made uh, if you want to check that out just go check out uh, my other channel Sam the oil man um, yeah, super proud of the thumbnail. It took tons of work to make, but I'm really happy with it. I think it's one of the best thumbnails I've made. Fight. All right, what is next? Here we are. Oh, this is perfect. Here's going to be our first Louise featured combo. We'll put down Louise. And then we can put down gingerbread guns to make Balloon Sniper Louise. Look at that. With a punch of 21 and a heal of 20 to a Bob's Burgers cards. And a boost of 15 just to top it off. Which uh, is just crazy. So have I got any Bob's Burgers cards? I do. So I may as well throw down the book as bills. Oh, I've won now anyway, but you know. I always forget the book as bills is a Bob's Burgers card. Um, it is a fantastic card. And generally in my deck, just to, I guess the luck of the draw of the cards I've had, I generally have lots of Bob's Burgers cards, which is kind of funny because I haven't actually watched Bob's Burgers. Uh, so of everyone who uh, what is watching this, have you watched Bob's Burgers? And do you think it's worthwhile going to, to watch? Um, and even how many seasons of Bob's Burgers are there? Like I've watched, yeah, I've watched all the other shows, just not Bob's Burgers. I didn't even know Bob's Burgers was a show until this game came out. <clears throat> and then I've been meaning to watch it but, you know, um, it just hasn't been a priority. Uh, with so much good TV and so much uh, gaming and so much other stuff to do. I've been playing Pokemon pretty crazy since, um, you know, this game came out and since Pokemon came out. Continue. <clears throat> there we go, fight. If memory serves me correctly, this game came out um, after Pokemon came out, I think. Is that right? Do you remember when this game came out? I totally forget. Like, I've been playing it so much, it just feels like I've been playing it for years, but... I, I don't think I've even been playing. Like, I think it's only been out for less than a year. But, you know, when you form habits, those habits, like my habit is to play this game um, in the morning when I get up, after lunch, in the evening, and then before bed. Um, and that habit is perfect for rumbling. Um, so it's when I do rumble, I don't even have to think about, am I going to miss a match and try and get it? Because 
the habits there. So I definitely recommend, um, especially people in my guild, to try and form that habit of playing that frequently. Like, even if you just log on and do a couple matches or one or two matches, like, you don't have to spend, like what I am, I'm probably going to be half an hour uh, playing this game this morning. But just the habit of going in and playing a couple matches will form that habit so that when you go for the rumbles, you're, you're logging in, you already have the time. And um, there we go. Uh, so yeah, so definitely recommend that. And now we'll go to the arena and we'll do our super secret arena fights. Don't tell anyone, it's the secret fight club. All right, perfect. There's Bobby and we'll fight Tina. And I'm getting these matches in just before uh, I hit the 10 refill um, energy. So perfect. Ooh, this is a tough one. And I don't have my mythic to counter. Um, Hatchet Boomhauer is gonna be our best hope. Ooh, that's a tough one as well. And that looks like a, it's at least two star. Um, my quad bender is going to be the best hope there. Oh, Slewback. Again, that's a nice one. Um, wondering if I should make Mugger Bender. It's a tough call because then he'll be two cards ahead. <clears throat> but I think I need to just because Drunk Clam is so awesome. Um... That gives me 16 attack. Oh, and that, uh, no, I'm going to do Agent Bender because of the wall breaker. And if I did Roger's Closet, I've got that leech, which is awesome. But I do 19 damage. But the, with the wall breaker there, I'm only doing 7 damage per turn. And that'll take far too long to defeat. Whereas if I do Blurn's Ball, take out the wall... I can do a full 16 damage, and next time when I put Bender down against Slewback, um, he will get a Cheers of 18. Assuming they're both still alive, which they should be. Oh, but Stewie Longlegs took me out. Ouch. All right, Bobby has the most health, um, but he's not even going to survive. Wow, Stewie Longlegs smashed me. Well, there we go. I can take out a couple of his cards there. I can make Devil Bobby, which I absolutely have to do. I'll, oh, or, hmm. Or maybe I should make Mugo Bender. I think I'm done. Buff Fry with 41 attack and one health. No, I'm done. I'm game over. I'll just, uh, there we go. He took me down. <clears throat> Took too long to take out the Drunk Clam. And that Mythic combo just smashed me. Alright, we'll keep going. Fight again. There's only 17 hours. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get in the top 1,000 for this arena challenge. Uh, with only 11,000 diamonds or whatever they're called. Oh, this is a tough battle as well. <clears throat> um, but I think I'll get in the top 25,000, so that's all right. All right, now I'll throw down Mythic Stewie. And that Pimp Peter's tough. The question now is, do I make a combo? I think I do. I think I make that combo. Honey Mustache Dewey. With the craze. Um, yeah, that was the right move, definitely. And now we can throw down Bender. Bender is good at surviving with um, 38 health and 8 wall. I can't combo anything, but we'll make... It. Throw down Tina. And there we go. Right choice, that Mythic Stewie combo won the game for me. <clears throat> and character points, I forgot to check who I was fighting. 
or character tiles. Hank, I can take Hank. Normally I don't really mind who I get. I mean, it would be nice to get uh, a level 10 character sooner rather than later. But with the reward just being one legendary card, which one more is not going to make a huge difference to my deck. Um, I just don't feel that sense of urgency. Plus, um, yeah, let's make Sniper's Dewey. What was I saying um, about finishing off? Plus, eventually you need to get all your character cards to level 10 anyway before you can start using the Wonder Wolf coins to do pulls to get your coins from your special characters. Um, there we go. So the book of spells, so because of the health, 35, and that will last longer, that will survive to make Devil Hank. And there we go, we won this one. Just a her noise with one health, <laughs> just one, because if she died, I might've been in trouble. We're clawing back in some Hank tokens. It would be interesting if they made, um, like, strengths and weaknesses. We're not going to fight a level eight zap. Uh, strengths and weaknesses f for certain characters and against certain characters to make some of your other characters um, more usable because it seems like everyone just uses the same characters basically Bobby or Tina like why would you use any other character I mean I can see why they've balanced it the way they have but I think it's out of balance just because um, the, the heal that Tina gives is so important and unless you're basically finished the game in terms of you have um, all your characters, tons of quad legendaries, you just don't have the ability to pick and choose and make a specific deck for a specific character to take full advantage of the, like here, yeah, the cheers three is only for family guy cards. So how, like you basically have to be finished the game to have enough Family Guy cards to make that worthwhile. Like I don't even have enough Family Guy cards to make a Family Guy deck where that would be useful. <clears throat> All right, there we go. I'll throw down Santa Stewie. And the game is mine now. And we'll make Easter Bunny, uh, Peter in Wooly. What's his health? Seven. Yep. Or we'll we do, no, we'll do Baseball Peter. And that's going to take out that 15 wall and do maximum damage. Plus enough health to hopefully not die. <laughs> hopefully. But... It's not over yet. No, it is over. I've won now. Baseball Peter took out the match. Nope. There we are. <clears throat> so what's my win streak now? My win streak is... Loading three. Three wins. All right, with six health. So we'll keep fighting now until I lose. And when I lose, that will be the end of the episode. We'll hopefully get to another good character card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, where are we going? We want uh, Bobby or, or Tina, hopefully. But we'll take Peter, just because I have so many Peter tokens. <clears throat> oh, wow. <clears throat> there we go. Hmm. <clears throat> Mm. <clears throat> oh. oh, I forgot to take my antihistamines for a couple of days again. Funny um, what they do, how helpful they are. 
All right, Doomsday device. There we go. Some good armed cards to start the match. And we still can't combo with anything. Mm, so this is a tough choice because Fry can make some awesome, awesome cards. And Hose to the Head is going to kill my Doomsday device. So I think I have no choice but to make Bender's Weapon. And that will hopefully take out Hevel, Medi Hevel Metal Haley with that bomb. It did. And now we can put down Mythic Stewie to counter Fry. Excellent. Now we're in the game. And with Santa Stewie, I think this, this one's mine. It was looking pretty iffy there. It could have gone either way. Um, but doing that Bender's Weapon combo, that was the absolute right move to win the, win the match. I think anything else might have lost it for me. <clears throat> it's funny how some of these tough matches come down to one card and one combo. Which, if you play, you win. And if you don't, you lose. So often, um, I'll get to that point and I'll make a move and go, oh, I should have done that instead immediately after making my move. Um, and that's usually when I'm in a rush or hurry. All right, so we're gonna throw down the Anarchist just to have the, the health heal. Ooh, tough call now. I would throw down Louise if she could combo with Roger's closet. I think I, oh, tough. I think I have to, um, unless <clears throat> Traumatized Hank has a bomb of 12, that could help with Fry, or Pimple Chris um, with the a Cripple All of 9, that could help too. Oh, I think it's Pimple Chris because Ruby... Zelda Steen has craze and I can steal the craze as well. Oh, that might have been the wrong choice because Fry and Robot Disguise is tough to beat. The only option I have is Louise. Anything else will be killed or Bender. I can do Bender. Let's do Bender. I think I'm going to be in trouble. All right. Slang tonight will have the heal ability plus the wall. Book of Spells, oh, has a massive wall. Um, but 23 damage, 15 damage. I think uh, Super King Bender is winning that one. Mugger Bender has a 21 health. Um, but that won't win it for me. Oh, so that 23, my effective damage is nothing because of that 17 leech. Um, I think Super King, no, there's only one choice. It's slaying tonight just because of the healing ability. And that's my only, only shot at long-term longevity which is probably not going to be that long, especially with another Fry going down. I think I'll throw down Hank and do, oh, wow, 80 damage. Um, I think I'm dead, even with Louise there. Yeah, 47, I'm dead now. It's just a matter of time. And there we go. Wow. All right. And that's how you get taken down. Um, that Philip J. Fry is dangerous with the combos that he can make. He, I made the wrong move uh, in the start, making the combo instead of uh, a decent card to attack with immediately. And that allowed R Robot Fry in disguise to get too powerful. And there's the matches. That's the matches today. Have a good day and I will see you tomorrow.